Welcome, one and all, to Halloween Forever. Ah, Pumpkin Man, you're my favorite Halloween character. Well, maybe not my favorite. Oh man, Skeletor at a rave. I think Skeletor at a rave is probably my favorite, but all of his fingers are broken, so that's a bit of a disadvantage for him in the Halloween cutthroat market, but oh well. It helps to be able to shoot green. I'm going to continue to watch this, just so you can see. This is a, a very charming game, and there's a lot to like about it, even though it's kind of bare bones. There's not a lot to it, but it's like three bucks, so honestly, why not? Oh. Oh boy. Why is a jack-o'-lantern just out in the open? Usually they're owned by people. A lot of the time, pumpkins don't get carved and then put back into the field. But I think that's all the context we need, so I'm going to just boot this game up and we can start. Ah, uh, the Forgotten Cemetery. Well, I remember it. Oh. So, here's our character. He's pretty great. And he also has the ability to keel over and be sick from what I'm assuming was a pretty awesome Halloween the night prior. This is actually the day after Halloween forever. Uh, so we have... I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a Leatherface or a Jason. He kinda has a chainsaw machete, I'm not really sure. Oh, lovely. Well... I've already not died, so that's a good start. I've usually died by now in games like this. Uh, this was a game that I just kind of found. It was a lot of um, a lot of random people just talking about different Halloween games, and this was one that was done just, you know, I I'm assuming kind of a short project, but done with a lot of love. There's a lot of really good enemy design gone into this. And some secrets to find. I'm probably gonna... Yeah, I figured I was gonna take damage there. But I, I really hope that people like this, because I really want to see this. I want to see this more. I would want to see this as a Metroidvania game. Because... Uh, look, look, look at that. What the hell is that? I want more of that. Oh my god. Big Mouth Bat? Ah. Okay, that that went down really easily. I'm gonna hork up last night's candy at him. Ah, uh, the bloody mansion. Well, it's about to be, if it wasn't already- Oh, this, this is not a mansion. This is the woods, where a lot of skeletons have given in. Don't give up skeletons. And also don't hang yourselves, because I don't really think that's going to kill you. You no longer have respiratory systems, and there are no longer spinal cords connected with a nervous system. Oh, wait, oh, yes. This must be the the famed mansion. And it is quite red, so... Oh, wow, yeah, that is very red. <laughs> the skeletons are unhanging themselves and then falling to their deaths. That's, that's really sad, actually. <laughs> They're escaping suicide to go to a more painful suicide. And you can actually jump on top of this little chain joint and kill yourself. Wow. Go me. But I've, I've been playing this game for a while now. It just looked really cool, so I started playing it, and then I got kind of into it. And now I, I already bought all the t-shirts, the posters. The skeleton Satan. Ow. Dang it. Oh, okay. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, smarter than you. Yes. The traditional end of level keel over and hork up candy. And now we're on to the Mystic Ruins. Let's see if I can actually beat this game. 
So far it's looking a little promising. I just wanted to do something fun for Halloween and the commentaries are suffering because I've already downed a good portion of the rum I bought yesterday for this exact purpose, which is logical. Ouch. Another Jason Voorhees Leatherface. There are a lot of these guys. And I like the big zombie heads that waggle at you, but I don't know. I'd kind of like to see more. I like these not flops. They remind me of the Smelter Demon. And these are kind of fun. These are, oh yeah, floating Christian burials. Avoid those. And you actually can't kill them, I don't think. Because I'm guessing they've found it a bit tasteless to desecrate a Christian burial. And if you step on these blocks, they slowly wake up, and when they wake up, they shoot a spike at you. Moving onward. Another Jason Voorhees. That's, that's always good. Yeah, if they have the typical Castlevania skeletal dragon head spitting fire at you. And now we're onto a pretty impressive gauntlet of traps. Um, nothing too challenging, but that won't stop me from taking damage, damn it. Alright. Yep, they got the big flomp. I never really could quite figure out the naming conventions of the thwomps. Because I think it w there was Thwomp and Womp? Was that a thing? And I definitely remember Thwimp. Ouch. God. I'm not going to be ready for the boss, am I? Oh. I will try my best for you, viewer. And if you notice, I'm hitting my head on something here, so... I can go up here and get my head smacked in, because I remember from last time that that happened. I don't really know what these runes do, but I want them. And now, oh man, it's the guy. It's that guy from before. And I've already, like magic, memorized his pattern, and I seem to have forgotten part of it. The most important part, in fact. Ouch. I can't get hit one more time. Yeah! Blech. That'll learn ya. Smackdown, a necromancer in Stonehenge, with the sorcerer defeated, the wicked spirits. Okay, okay, so we, we fixed stuff up. No more Halloween, we've cured the holiday that we like the most. Like, oh man, I'm slurring my words together. I need to stop the words that are coming out of my mouth by putting more alcohol into my mouth. Oh, oh, oh wow. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, sweet. Um, oh, yeah. Well, that looks like that's that's it. It's Halloween forever. We beat it. So I'm signing off now. This has been whoever I am. <laughs> oh, boy.